your question is find the set of values of m for which the line y is equal to mx plus 5 does not meet the curve y is equal to x square minus x plus 6. Now if you see here y is equal to mx plus 5 and the curve formula is y is equal to x square minus x plus 6. These are the two equations. You can see y is common. That means this is equal to this. So simply we will write that only. That is your x square minus x plus 6. That is equal to mx plus 5. Now bring everything to your left side. You will get x square minus x plus 6 minus mx minus 5 that gives you 0. Now arrange them. Here you will get x square and here what you will get plus x and here it will be minus 1 and here minus m. Hmm? Minus 1 minus m and plus 6 minus 5 is plus 1. That gives you 0. Now we will write our quadratic formula. Standard quadratic formula. That is your ax square plus bx plus c that gives you 0. That means a is 1. a is 1 b is minus 1 minus m minus 1 minus m and c is again 1. Now see the question what they have given. They have given does not meet the curve. That means what is that? Our hmm? b square minus 4ac is less than 0. We can say b square minus 4ac is less than 0. Hmm? Now, just substitute this value here. What you will get? We will get b square that means minus 1 minus m whole square minus 4 into 1 into 1 is less than 0. Now solve this. This is in the form of a plus b whole square. Simple. And on both sides minus is there. That means in a also minus is there, b also minus is there. That means it is in the form of a plus b whole square you will get 1 plus m square plus 2m minus 4 is less than 0. Now solve this and arrange them. You will get m square plus 2m minus 3 is less than 0. Now solve this by taking equal to 0. What is your m? You can see this is nothing but m square plus 3m minus m minus 3 that is equal to 0. You can see in first two m is common. We will take that m is common. Here you will get m plus 3. Here minus 1 is common. Again you will get m plus 3. That is equal to 0. Now, here you can see m plus 3 and m minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, we can say m is equal to minus 3 and here you can say m is equal to 1. These are the two values of m. But here what they have given less than everywhere less than is there. First what we will see what is the coefficient of your square that means m square that is your positive that means we will get a 
minimum point here. So minimum point lies like this. And the two values of m is minus 3 and 1. So here it will come minus 3 and here it will come 1. Now what they have given? Less than 0. That means we have to move towards negative side. This side. So now we can say that here what is m? m should be greater than minus 3. Why means we are moving towards right side. So here it will come m should be greater than minus 3. And here what you will get? If you move towards the left of 1, you will get the less than. So here you will get m should be less than 1. These Can we make the relation between them? We can or just we will check it. Here it comes m is like this. This is the sign. If you put minus 3, that means m is greater than minus 3. Yes, it's true. m should be less than 1. If you make a line, so here it will come what? 0. And here it will come minus 3, here 1. Now they have told m is greater than minus 3. That means we are moving towards this side. And they have told m is less than 1. That means we are moving towards this side. So that means, yes, it's a relation between them.